Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over the reports. I just finished up a video that um, showed how to use a template with three types of drywall on one side and three types of drywall on the other side. So now we're going to look at the report for that takeoff. And looking at the material detail, uh, we're going to look at the half-inch door rock we had 13 pieces at $28 each. Now, my overhead markup on the material, I put a 15% in there. So if you take $28 times it by 15%, you're going to add $4.20. And then I added a 10% markup on the material. So if we take the $28 and the 4 20 and add that together and times that by 10%, we need another $3.22 on top of all of it. So the markups just keep compounding. And so our total markup now is $35.42 for this drywall or the Dura Rock. And then plus our taxes, and we have a total of $4.90. Now let's take a look at our subcontract report. Let's expand all of this. And the same difference goes here. We got our layout at fifty cents a linear foot. On the subcontract overhead, I added fifteen percent. So that's gonna give us um seven cents more on the overhead. And then I did a subcontract markup of twenty percent, which could add us another twelve cents. So now we're looking at sixty nine cents a foot in the total price. Okay? And that's how these reports work and that's how the markups work. If we want to take a look at um, the takeoff view with the calculations in there, here you can see for that one wall that I did, the 500 feet of it, um, we have a cost of $64.13. And with all of the markups I added to it, it's $87. So this here is what the co our cost um, would be for this wall, linear foot. And then with our markups, it's $87 a foot. There's very valuable reports that we can do now. Let me go over and just really quick show you home, open. We can go back, highlight the job you're working on, and click properties. We can go back to this properties window where the costing information is at. And here's where you put your markups, uh, mar material markup, labor markup, equipment markup, subcontract markup, and other markup. Other markup is uh, only if I have a property in the part that says other markup, which I do not have, and you can add that if you want to. But this is where my 10% material markup is and my 20% subcontract markup. Then I came down here and I put a 15% material overhead and a 15% uh, subcontract overhead. So this is where you fill in your markups, and you can always go back and change these at any time and it will refresh your um, reports and it'll it'll reflect the changes in the reports and that concludes this video on um, the reports